Live from NBC4, this is the Channel 4 News at 5. Now we turn to medical news and melanoma. It is one of the deadliest forms of cancer. But there's a major medical breakthrough concerning that, and it's really good for those of us here in Southern California who still tend to go out and worship the sun a little bit. That's right, and we have... Dr. Bruce over here to tell us about it, Bruce. This is really a major step forward. We'll show you exactly how it works. The drug for stage four melanoma that is spread through the body is being tested right here at UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Comprehensive Care Center. It works differently from any previous drug. At the center, we spoke to one of the first people to get it. She's from Orange County, and as you'll see, she is right now completely healthy. Louise Belly, here with her daughter Emily and Dr. Anthony Rebus, is visiting the lab that may have saved her life. Louise was healthy and fine until November 2007 when she noticed a swollen lymph node under her left arm. Biopsy revealed it was melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. Other tests showed the cancer had spread throughout her body. Honestly, at first I was devastated because I realized that I was in a bad place. Louise enrolled in Dr. Rebus's trial of a new drug called RG7204, which works differently from any other treatment. It interferes with the protein the cancer desperately needs. It's a switch that makes the cancer grow, so we want to turn off that switch. Now, first the doctors test the actual cancer cell to see if it has the switch or not. And if it does, they begin the treatment. Since Louise's cells did have the switch, she began treatment immediately. Early results of the study were beyond what anybody expected. We get responses that in ranges that we could never seen in this cancer before. Melanoma was a, a cancer where we had responses in around 10% of patients at best, and now we're getting 80% of the patients responding. Louise's latest body scan produced very good results. Uh, fortunately, she's been doing well for all this time. She's now melanoma free. Louise, who recently took a trip with her family, right, says she has so yes. many reasons you know, to be good. happy. I, just, I feel strongly that uh, I have my chances are good that I will continue to be cancer free and I enjoy every day to it the fullest. When I first found out Emily had just, my daughter Emily has just entered college and now I'll be able to see her graduate in June. So that it means a lot to me. Now I want to be clear, this is not a cure and it can't be used on all patients, but if the cells do have the switch, we talked about it may increase survival rate from 10 to 80 percent and that will increase the chances over time of cure that combinations with other treatment can actually produce a complete cure. Now, you can get more information on the actual study at the Johnson Comprehensive Care Center at UCLA and on the story at our website at NBCLA.com. I don't get excited that often, I try to play things down, but this is a major step forward. That's very neat. Yeah, 